August 28, 2008. We have a happy group of folks joining us here in Rockefeller Plaza. Meanwhile, coming up from here as the long weekend approaches, if you are itching to get away but you haven't made plans, fear not. We have some last minute great destinations and you can also get, most importantly, for a great price. Coming up next, last minute travel ideas for your Labor Day weekend. But first, take it away. This is Today on NBC. This morning on today's travel, last minute Labor Day getaways. You can still find some good deals to mark the unofficial end of summer. And Kate Maxwell is senior editor at Condé Nast Traveler. Good morning to you. Good morning. First up, let's talk about these deals. First up, I was surprised. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, Given yeah. the fact that airfares are so expensive, I wouldn't think this would be first on your list, but you found a very there good are, deal. Yeah, if you want to go south of the border, Puerto Rico is a really good option. You don't need a passport, and there are some great package deals out there. And by package, I don't mean, mean all-inclusive, all-you-can-eat buffet. I just mean buy your flight and your hotel from the same place, Expedia.com, Travelocity.com. You can save between one and three hundred dollars. So you can do that today and be on a flight tomorrow. Yeah. The next, the next one up is Vegas, uh, Vegas, which is always on people's list. But if you don't like to gamble, you're saying that's okay, you can still have fun there. You can. I mean, everyone thinks of the Strip. But did you know Lake Las Vegas is 30 minutes away? Gorgeous lake, great golfing, great spa, place to take the family. There's spas. And then again, there are some really good hotel deals. Lowe's Las Vegas has rooms for $160 a night. You buy two nights, you get the third free. And then if you've always wanted to stay in a Ritz-Carlton, but you thought it was too expensive, the Ritz-Carlton at Lake Las Vegas is $179 a night. And when you compare that to New York, $725 And here. those are beautiful, beautiful Gorgeous hotels. hotels yeah. Can you find similar deals in other locations like that, or is that typical to that area? Um, no, I mean, Las Vegas itself, you know, there are good deals in the city as well, and, and all over the country, really. Speaking about cities, one of my favorite is Chicago, it Illinois, is and that is high on your list as well for this weekend. Absolutely. Why? If you're inspired by Barack's speech tonight, go and visit his hometown. Also, if you want to pick a city, it's a good idea to pick one that international tourists aren't quite so keen on, so maybe not New York and Miami. Chicago has some great hotel deals. The Sheraton there has rooms for $160 to $179 a night. Again, you buy two, you get the third free. Hotel Saks is one of our favorites on our hot list this year. That's $250, but they're giving $50 gas cards, and also they're going to pay for your parking, which is usually $45 a night. And they also have in Chicago beautiful parks, great theater, great restaurants, so there's a lot to pick and from. And a lot going on this weekend, lots of outdoor stuff. There's fireworks, there are outdoor concerts. Okay, we've talked about beaches, we've talked about cities. What mm -hmm. about the mountains? That's a place I love to go. Any exactly. good deals? Exactly, and you don't necessarily think mountains in the summer, but going off season, again, is a good way to save money. Keystone, Colorado, 90 minutes from Denver, which we've been hearing a lot about this week. Now, we love the Keystone Lodge and Spa there. Um, we actually gave it, gave Vail Resorts, um, one of our World Savers Awards this year because they have a great green energy program. They offset all their electricity with wind power credits. And the Keystone is $195 a night. It's usually $330 in winter, so another good deal. What about folks, because these are great deals, but there are some people who are really strapped for cash now and they, and they really can't go away. They have options, though. Definitely. We've all heard about the staycation. That tends to means of staying in your home, but why not just stay in your home town. Check out local ho hotels, whether it's your embassy suites or, or your holiday inns. They've got great, great deals this weekend. And you book in for one night, take the family, put the kids in the pool, get someone else to do the cooking. Oh, room service alone, your kids will love you forever. Exactly. That's the coolest yeah, thing. A change, you know, it's as good as a vacation. Okay, Maxwell, thank you for these last minute tips. Thank Real you. helpful.